I look like I'm having a new arrival. Hello. We are here with our lovely piggies and the most beautiful Oscar. Say hello. Hello. How are you doing? I hope you're enjoying your day so far. We have got a nice bit of sunshine out today, which is always good. It's a lot harder to do a good video when it's absolutely chucking it down with rain. Hi, Andrea, how are you doing? Oh, for goodness sake, it's in my lap. Four o'clock, for sure. Oscar, Andrea's got some presents for the animals and they're in, in the lounge and I've literally put them by the front door. And then I always end up rushing and then I've forgotten them. Four o'clock, it's not good. You'll have to literally message 10 minutes before to make sure. Hi, Claire. Hi, Christine. How are you doing? Hi, Tamara. I'm such an idiot. Um, it's right in my lounge. Out. Well, at least you get more shout outs. Andrea has sent us some lovely presents and I have them. I just haven't brought them in. So she's getting extra shout outs. I just can't show you what they are yet because I keep forgetting them. I might pop home. I know, I'm an idiot. Honestly, this is my life. Um, I might pop home in the middle because Amy's going to take over in a minute. I'll go grab it, actually. That might be a good plan. Hi Emma, how are you doing? Hi Claire, hi Tamara, um, hi Mandy. So we've got um, some chickens out here. Uh, Amy is actually going to take over for me in a minute. Hi Ali, well thank you very much for watching because it makes us happy to know people are watching and they're enjoying our videos. Um, I know I'm a disaster. But I think I'll, I'm going to pass over to Amy in a second and she's going to do some educational stuff with you guys. And... Um, I can pop and go get it because I'm a donut. We've got a new fa uh, family, friend to the farm. Who's our new friend? Who is this? Hey, gorgeous. Does anyone know what type of dog she is? Yeah, we need you guys to tell us because we're really not sure on the breed. Like, shh, don't say, don't say. We are animal experts, but we are a little bit confused by this one. There's no clues. As to the breed, so I need, I need your children to help us, eh? not all the grown-ups. Um, so I need some help with the name of this, not the name, the breed. Uh, oops, just hit your head on my phone, you donut. Oh, you're so soft. So soft. Yeah, whippy tail, look at that. Ow, 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 ow. Very, very gorgeous. And we are going to see our pigs. Oh, don't worry, Andrea. Uh, yes, Shane's one. It's a Jack Russell, isn't it? No, not quite. No, not a, not a Jack Russell. A little bit bigger than a, a Jack Russell. Hi, Claire. Hi, Shane, anyway. Hi, um, Samara from Clevedon. That's only up the round. Up the oh, what is wrong with me up the road? I'm losing. Honestly, I'm losing my mind. Went to bed at 4am. I don't know why. Um, watch the weirdest film. Have you seen Once Upon a Time in Hollywood? I don't I really. It had one amazing scene and that was it. Uh, my four year old calls them dimensions, <laughs> like Lego dimensions. And he's crested. Oh, I'm getting chewed up. Oh, hello. He's chewing on me, Carol Baskins. Is that a Great Dane? Chinese crested. Foxhound. Pug. Oh, we're going to have to go to Ox o Oscar. I can't even talk. Hi, Scott. Uh, we're going to go to our absolute animal expert, the one, the only, Oscar. What is that doggy called? What's its breed? Oh, no, I forgot. No. There's 101 of them. Dalmatian. Good boy. See? I knew he's a winner. Corella Deville over there. So I'm going to pass you over to uh, the lovely Amy because uh, she is a little chatterbox as well and um, she might not mess up her words today like I have been because I don't know, I can't get the sentences out. I stayed up too late last night being an idiot and uh, now I've got no brains this morning. Yes, that was me fiddling about trying to learn how, I can't crack how these computers work. I tried that Premiere thing and that's what it was, is because it said it was going on at US time um, four. Well, it said it was going on US time eight or something. I was trying to make it to go on to eight o'clock this morning, English time. And that said I had to write down four o'clock. So I put four o'clock and then I got a notification at half three saying it's going to go on at 4am UK time. So then I had to try and change it and oh, it was just, I just failed. So if anyone knows how Facebook works, let me know because I haven't got a clue. Uh, I'll just carry on with my silly videos and hope that Facebook kind of um, just help me out on their own. Who knows? Uh, 
I know, I don't know what I did. So yeah, that video is going to go on at four in the morning. I managed to get to go on at nine. Um, I don't know how it works. Yes, hi Scott, I haven't actually watched your video yet. I'm so sorry. You sent me the video. Braden came home last night. He wasn't feeling too good. He was just like stressed out. I think he'd had kind of a bad day at school, like his online school. So when he came home, he was really stressed. So I actually gave him a little spa evening, um, gave him a little face mask. <laughs> It was cute. He was so stressed. Uh, I gave him a face mask and stuff like that and he fell asleep on my lap. So I think um, he needed a bit of TLC. So I didn't have the phone and I didn't watch the video. Um, but yeah, Braden's sparkly this morning. He's um, He just said he just felt stressed and he just felt the video didn't really go too well because he was freezing cold um, and it just... It just upset him because he's just... He's only little, isn't he, really? He might look big, but he's just a baby, really. Um... So we had some like mum and son time because teenagers are tough to keep happy and um, I didn't watch your video so I will have to make sure I do that and I know that Jasmine has sent me an amazing video as well. Um, I need to go on the computer to download that because it won't save from my phone. Hi Ali, how are you doing? Hi Leanne. Uh, Captain George picture, that would be amazing. Hi Leah, we miss you. I loved that last night. It's me, it's Loopy. It's like, of course you are. You remind me of Jess actually, she woke up this morning, she sat straight up in the bed and she said, cock a doodle -doo! <laughs> was her first words and I was like, right, crazy child. He did great. No, I know he did great. I think he just, he didn't take a jumper and he was really, really cold and then I think his internet kept cutting out um, and I just found, I think he just found it a bit stressful um, and I think he had some other problems because he had a lot of homework to do and he was just feeling tired. Um, so you know how teenagers are, it's kind of like an emotional roller coaster isn't it so he just felt a bit stressed last night um so he had some special kind of one-to-one -one time some relaxing music and then he had a long shower and um an early night which is good right i'm going to stop chitter chattering uh hey piggies hey shane i'm gonna pass you over to this lovely lady who are you hey, and what do you do here nothing clean out animals clean out animals are you are you from the kitchen are you yeah yeah um, so I'm going to pass you over to Amy, and what are you going to tell us about today? Oh, you see how it goes already. Yeah, yeah, all right, I'll take it, so I'll let it pass over, you know what to do when it ends, yeah. and then um, you can put it on selfie if you want to, let me jump out of Yeah, I won't put it on selfie, I've got no makeup on today. I need to be, um... <laughs> <laughs> oh, reptiles at four o'clock, tell them we're doing reptiles at four o'clock. All right. All right, guys, so yeah, so I'm... We're going to see quite a few animals today. Not sure what we're going to be talking about quite yet. We're just going to see how it goes, really. As you can see, Jade is clearing up the farm and chucking all the barking and the pigs are thinking it's food. So they're like, well, what are we having for breakfast? Even though they've already had it. So as you all know, one of our pigs is pregnant. That's this girl right here. You can see that her belly is quite round now. Hi Claire! <laughs> yeah, reptiles at four everyone. Morgan, you're doing the reptiles at four, aren't you? Yeah, thumbs up. We like doing the reptiles. Don't we piggies? We like reptiles. Well you don't. Hello, hello. Oh, no. Don't bite the phone, don't bite the phone. Good boy, good boy. Yes, you're lovely, aren't you? Alright. Just tell me, like, what animals you guys want to see down the bottom. So, like, rabbits. I can get Morgan to bring out, like, a mouse or something. So this is Diego. He's so pretty. Ew. But yeah, one of the main ways to tell um, how a pig is pregnant is literally just by their stomach getting bigger and then it's like, I think it's about a week before they give birth, their uh, teats fill up with milk. So yeah.
Oh, I think we've got a little talent show or something going on. I don't know. All right, so we've got um, some sad news, unfortunately, about Kelly. We um, adopted her onto Fizz, who absolutely loved her. Took her in like it was one of her own chicks. But because she was a little bit smaller than the other two, we think we got a little bit squashed. So, yeah, unfortunately, it's not a very happy ending like we were hoping, but... Alright. Are you going to watch Bonnie? What's going on here then? Is Hello! <laughs> Alright, I'll, I'll just go on her. <laughs> Alright, we're going to do some basic um, dog training today. Um, so to make a dog sit, if you've got a really energetic dog, I'd let him run around first. <laughs> so to make a dog sit, all you've got to do is lift it above their head, and when they put the bum down, say, sit! Good girl! Good girl! Make sure you always give them praise. Good girl! Right, the next one I'm going to teach you is lie down. So sit, sit, lie down. And to lie down, you've just got to put the treat there and you've just got to pull the treat away. Good girl, lie down. Good girl. And with some dogs, they're not always uh, food obsessed like Bonnie is. So you may have to do it with a toy, like a rope or a ball. If your dog's greedy, it's better that way. But if not, yeah, you can use a toy. <laughs> if your dog's really overweight like Bonnie as well, it's probably best to use a toy. <laughs> Like that, come here. And then as soon as they get there, spin, good girl. Mark says, can you do tricks as well, Jade? Yeah, so I can. <laughs> Bonnie, tell her to do a trick. Sit. Lie down. <laughs> spin. <laughs> and the next one is limp. Bonnie, limp. Do you want to get her to do a trick, Oscar? Uh, yeah. Yeah? You going to go up there with her? Go on then. Right, we know Bonnie's nice. We've just done. Do you remember how to do them? Yeah. You don't... No snapping. Don't be scared of her. Yeah, you give her to put it flat, put it in your hand flat. She'll get you. <laughs> She's like, oh, some extra treats. Um, the next one is pull. Um, so if you tell a dog to sit, sit, and if you want to um, lift, give, get them to give you pull, you've just got to lift the treat high, and as soon as they lift their paw, say pull, big girl. Um, see if she she don't really like lying down outside. See if she does this one. Right, get back, back. Back, back, back. No. <laughs> bang, 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 bang. She only usually does it outside, inside, because she doesn't like getting dirty, I think. <laughs> well, she's a white dog. Can you blame um, her? Bonnie, sit, 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 sit. What does the cow do? What does the cow do? What does the cow do? <laughs> Yawn, stretch, 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 stretch. Oh, bow as well. I'll teach you how to do bow. So, bow, all you have to do is get them to stand up, bring the treat down to there, and as soon as they go down, bow, good girl. And we'll show you that without the treat. Good girl. Right, bow, bow, bow. Bow, hold it. Hold, bow, hold. <laughs> right, see if we can shoot. Bow, hold. No, get up. And jump. Yay. 
Why is it good to teach your dog tricks, Jade? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Mine. <laughs> um, so they... What's the word for it? Obedience. Obedience. <laughs> Spin. Limp. <laughs> That's jump. Leg. Sit. 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 Leg. Leg. Down. Down. Can you, will you roll over on it? Down, down, roll over, over. She's like, no. <laughs> down. Oh, she's not on the ground. I'm not lying down on this. Down, 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 over, down, over. She's like, no. <laughs> hey, good catch. That's today's lessons. Any more lessons will be um, on our next video. So if you want any, any more um, lessons, it won't be on our next video, that's a lie. It will be on another video. <laughs> yeah, everyone share this video so then when people come back and watch it, we can all see Bonnie doing tricks. And I've taught a lot of dog tricks, so it ain't just Bonnie, you know, just so you know. That yeah, it's our dog trainer. Jade is. This is so creepy. And then she's like, give me food. Um, no, she don't need training, just give her the command. Spin. Spin. <laughs> she thinks you've got food I now. I've got it. Oh, show her the food. And say spin. Spin. Way up. Now Oscar's got it. What's that? <laughs> <laughs> Getting a bit confused now, aren't she? Spin. 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 Yay! Yep. Nice one, Oscar. That was fun. Right, see if she can find Leanne it. says well done. Um, Leanne, we're going to see... She can find this tree. No, no messing. Oh, oh. She went straight to where it landed. Oh. Hey, she's got it. I can see her chewing. Any more? <laughs> Bonnie, it was just the one. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you want to chuck one in? Want to chuck one, Ask? Where are you going to throw it? Where is it, Bon? She's yeah. Like, not, not right, <laughs> big, big glass one. <laughs> Yay! Well done, buddy! Good girl. Right, let's go see the lambs. Oh, yes. Let's go see some lammies. Bonnie's alright with lambs because she was alright with Ted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we know Bonnie's safe with lambs, don't we? Because... Ted was her roommate for quite a few weeks, wasn't he? Bonnie got kicked out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, don't. Mark says, how old is Bonnie? She's eight. Eight years old. She was, she was born on a leap, yeah, so my mum thinks she's four. Or is it two? It's two, isn't it? Two, yeah. It's every four years, <laughs> yeah. so she's two. <laughs> Bonnie, come on, so don't alarm us to get you. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, Ross, come over it. Get some lambs for me. They like you, don't they? <laughs> All right. Who are we going to see? One triplet. The triplets. The triplets. Are these the triplets here? I think these are the triplets, Ask. Oh. This is Einstein. I'm confused. That one's Einstein. But that one was. Yeah, this one's Einstein. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we got yeah. some drinking. Hiya James, yeah it's really nice and sunny today actually after a few days of some nice heavy rain whilst we've been up here. We do have a website. 
ask what's the what's the website Park. yeah yeah if you just google animal farm adventure park it should come up with our website yeah she is technically 51 in dog years but it because she was born on a leap year it's a bit different i think i'm not quite sure it's born on the 29th of February. Yeah, that's it. And these are two of our triplets, aren't they? Because they love you. Yeah. Do, you know, do you know which one's which? Um, yeah, this one's Sunny. I think this one's Hope and Nessa. Do they still have it sprayed on them? Or has it come off? Um, so they had NHS sprayed on them, didn't they? Because I remember um, that... Um, Sunny was like a bit brown and yep and Hope and Nestle like smaller black pants. Oh look how much they like you Oz. Good job we're keeping them, aren't we? You're very friendly. We're just gonna come in one day and you're gonna have three massive sheep lying on you. That when they're all grown up. That doesn't sound very fun. Why don't it? They're gonna be giving you cuddles, that's nice. Yeah, but they're, but they're gonna be like all the alpacas have seen Bonnie. Yeah, I think they're a bit heavier than Jess when they're older, though. So yeah, the alpacas, as I'm sure Crystal has said many times, they're in with our sheep with all of our lambs because they are actually really good protective animals. They have um, really protective instincts, so they can actually let off a warning um, call when they sense, like maybe a fox or anything that's coming into their field to maybe harm any of their friends does anyone know what kind of sheep this is i don't yeah you do I, we've told you it well, i don't know it have you forgot yeah <laughs> so these the ones with the horns are actually called Jacob's sheep. As you can see. I think that one is actually was Ted's mum before she abandoned him. Because she's mean. Well, they do that in the wild. Yeah, it's quite common for sheep to reject their lambs. Like, whether it's because... The sheep is a first time mum and she don't know what she's doing or it could be anything but like, there's not always a reason it could just be that the sheep doesn't like her lamb thankfully all of ours have completely accepted their lambs though we were a bit of, worried about keely this year weren't we because she had two because she wasn't very good with Dougie last year. But she eventually accepted him. Yeah, Mark has actually tagged our website down below for you, James. Oh, that's Keely's twins. They're called Zach and Cody. Honestly, this kid and lambs, amazing. Next door. Oh. <laughs> what more does a cow do? <laughs> we got cows next door making a load of noise. I think they're cheering you on, Oscar. Mm. Hey. They got all their lammies. I think this is Connie. This is Connie. Mm. So he was our first born. And he is absolutely huge now. Oh yeah, that's our play castle. We've um, got TikToks of our lambs running around in there. <laughs> playing with it. So if you want to take a look at that, that's um, Animal Farm Zoo. Our tag is on that one. A smudge. 
I renamed him because I couldn't actually remember what his name was in the first place. Hey, Keely. We're all good mums around here, aren't we now? Star. Do you know where Star is, Osk? I think that's Star. Yeah. Hey, that's Star. Right in front of me. There's Star, Andrea. <coughs> the first girl this year. And as you can see, like most of their tails have fallen off now. I think it's just one or two that's left on now. And so we dock their tails just so it helps them um, prevent fly strike. And fly strike is where. Yeah, it depends how you do it as well. If you put it on wrong, it's gonna really hurt them. But Just luckily, we're pros at that now, aren't we? Up until it gets to the skin on its tail. Yeah, yeah. You have to find the tailbone, don't you? Yeah. And then you do it under that. So yeah, Oscar, do you know what fly strike is? And lay maggots and stuff. Yeah, so they lay their eggs, the eggs hatch, and then the sheep have maggots that then eat away at the sheep. It's an absolutely horrible thing to go through. So thankfully, none of our sheep have got it or had it. No, I don't know how, but Ramadan, he hasn't been docked, and he hasn't got it. Yeah, Ramadan is our ram. He's the daddy of all these little lambs, and he's never had it. Even though his tail is very fluffy and it's not actually been docked he's never had fly strike which actually amazes me i think he puts up his tail before he goes to it or something yeah he must do we lift it out the way properly all right so i'm gonna end the video there guys all right you gonna say bye osk bye. say see ya bye. <laughs> bye you say bye to the lammies Bye.